Hang on, before we get started here, everybody in Georgia knows that a show just ain't a show without a Kevin Northcutt promo. But you know what? You know what? Ain't nobody here even worth it. Dragon Wilson here for this opening tag team matchup here on Wildside. There you see the Beast, Bob Sapp, and Kevin Northcutt in the ring. And what a matchup this is going to be. There you see the stone-fisted badass, Tank Abbott, on the outside. And there you see on the other side, the NWA Wildside heavyweight champion, the Mammoth Stone Mountain. A lot of beef in one ring, Kevin Northcutt and the Beast starting it out. Of course, the challenge for this matchup was issued December the 13th in Athens, Georgia at Bumpers. Had to be there to see it. What an altercation it was. And now the Beast and Kevin Northcutt sizing one another up. Color and Oval tie up. Northcutt now going to the arm, standing wrist lock. The Beast fights back. What power on the massive Beast. This man is a monster of every sense of the word. That's why they call him the Beast. Because that was pretty self-explanatory. But knee to the midsection by Kevin Northcutt. Very impressive showing here by Northcutt. As the back of his t-shirt says, who's your daddy? And uh, Bob Sapp feeling that at the moment. Referee James Hamilton trying to break this little altercation in the corner up. With the NWA Wildside Heavyweight Champion Stone Mountain on the outside of the ring. But look at these vicious chops and Kevin Northcutt just pummeling the beast. Stone Mountain, everything he can to get in the ring, but wait a minute. Look at the beast go. Knee for the midsection of Kevin Northcutt. And of course, if, if you're Kevin Northcutt, you definitely got to watch out for that raisin cane headbutt that he likes to drop. The beast that's his finishing maneuver, and not a man has gotten up from it yet. But look at the beast. Look at the beast. This man is hell-bent on intensity and hell-bent on winning this matchup tag made for Stone Mountain. Was this a first appearance in Wild Side by Tank Abbott, star of the UFC and of course, World Championship Wrestling. But look at now in the ring, single leg takedown by Kevin Northcutt, goes to the legs of Stone Mountain. And of course, these two had a heck of a matchup for the NWA National Heavyweight title. A few months ago, it was Stone Mountain coming off the winner in that matchup. And Kevin Northcutt departing NWA for World Championship Wrestling. And how a small world it is here. Kevin Northcutt and Stone Mountain back in the ring again. And look at Kevin Northcutt on the legs of Stone Mountain. That's the best strategy when you've got a 370-pound madman in the ring. And a tag made to Tank Abbott. And look at this man go. You know, you're not going to see a lot of trope suicide dives or punches for this guy. He's strictly business and strictly in there to hurt people. But look at the boots and Stone Mountain working well together as a team. And I don't know who's going to get in there to break him up. Look at the Beast. The Beast and Tank Abbott. Of course, the Beast, the beast excuse me, defeated William Refrigerator Perry. And uh, Tank Abbott, kind of jealous of that, I think. Tank Abbott, though, he's been such a success in Ultimate Fighting Championship and, once again, World Championship Wrestling. And he's right here in Wildside. And I fear... I, I fear for the lives of any men that have to get in the ring with it, except for maybe these two. Tank Abbott now stalling, reluctant to get in the ring with the Beast, and you don't see that very often from Tank Abbott. Tank Abbott now conveniently getting in while the Beast back his turn. But the Beast still firing back with some vicious offensive blows, going to a front chantry. And the Beast into the corner makes the tag to Stone Mountain. Oh my goodness, this Stone Mountain has been a success story one after the next. The defending Wildside Heavyweight Champion, he has an unbeaten streak when that title is on the line like no other. That's a close line. Abbott on the ropes, but Northcutt from the behind. 
And look at Kevin North, Ed and Tank Abbott now in control of this matchup. And Kevin Northcutt laying the blows into the corner on Stone Mountain. It takes a lot to put Stone Mountain down. The only time I can remember him being defeated in the ring in recent memory was a screw job and a half by Terry Knight for the national heavyweight title. And if the NWA elite hadn't gotten involved, that match probably wouldn't happen. Spinal tap by Kevin Northcutt. This Northcutt, he just doesn't care. He'll mouth off to anybody and anyone. Obviously, as you see him right here in the ring with the two biggest men Wildside has ever seen, and that is the Beast in Stone Mountain. As a tag team, there's no telling what they're gonna do and no telling what they're capable of in the future in Wildside. Oh, look at that beautiful crescent kick by Kevin Oscott and drops it eight to the forehead of Stone Mountain. Lateral press only got a two. Kevin Northcutt has quickly come to learn that it takes more than a knee drop to keep Stone Mountain down. But Tank Abbott, known for those stone fists, can knock anybody out with one punch. Seen it happen on many occasions. And Tank Abbott now going to work on Stone Mountain. Look at this. Irish whip, mountain into the far corner. Tank Abbott comes back. Stone Mountain gets the boot up. And a clothesline by Stone Mountain. Well, what a tag team matchup this has been thus far here on Wildside. Referee James Hamilton checking on the status of Stone Mountain. Both mid Leary trying to make it to the corner. Abbott makes the tag to Northcutt. And the beast is it. Here comes the beast. Look at the beast. Pops up. What a clothesline. The beast now going to take Abbott. Does the clothesline and one of his own. Scoop and what a power slam for the beast. The beast going up top now. That is a scary thought. No. But for a minute, he was going up top. What an elbow by Stone Mountain. But Tank Abbott remaining in the ring. And throwing Stone Mountain to the outside. Now, in a brawl meets brawl atmosphere, you definitely have to favor Tank Abbott. But look, now the beast in the ring. It's over. 